Today's video is brought to you by dirt and dust because I got a lot of it and a very angry wife. She's getting tired of cleaning. It's been a few months of working on this and she's angry. She wants this done. Well, she's away for the next week. I'm going to try and get this done. I've got two days until the mud and texture guys come to uh, put the finishing finishing work on all the sheetrock and then paint and she'll come home and hopefully it'll be good but uh, today's video we're going to talk about Dolby Atmos because why just hear it from the sides let's hear it from the sky stay tuned Hey, so here's an angle you probably haven't seen in any of my other videos. Uh, this is from the screen side. So it's, uh, you can see my house is pretty messed up, but uh, anyway, we are going to go to the sky. And as you can see, I've already got lots of holes already in my ceiling. And these are from the ceiling fans and from the lights. Uh, you know, in the previous video, I had mentioned how we're getting rid of the can lights, like right over there. It's already been torn out because uh, the glass bulb can put some reflection down. But we're going to make some new holes today and install Adobe Atmos speakers. Now, I was a little confused, a little worried about how to do it. And uh, I got over here on the wall some uh, printouts. I'm not as fancy as other people are with high editing skills of their videos and but uh, I can work a camera and a tripod. Woo, there we go. Now, here's what we can see. Uh, the Dolby Atmos ceiling speakers. What you want to do to install them is install them at a 30 to 55 degree angle, or 125 and 150 coming from the rear. So think of this as a giant protractor. And uh, you want to achieve the correct angle. And uh, especially since I'm doing a four speaker setup and remember I'm not a professional. I'm just learning from other YouTube YouTube videos and uh, 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 reading online and stuff. So this I got off the Dolby website. And uh, but how do you find the perfect angle? And that was like, well, you know, do I get a giant protractor? Do I draw strings? Do I have a CSI team like I see where they <laughs> when somebody has a uh, gets sh a car gets shot up, they start pulling strings through windshields and through every hole to find the exact location. And I'm like, well, then it kind of dawned on me. It's uh, pretty quite simple. Oh, that is horrible grammar. <laughs> anyway, you want to install your speakers between 30 and 55 degrees, 45 being optimal. Now, the beautiful thing is, I found this online. <clears throat> uh, well, let me just get back to my original point, is that, well... It's a perfect triangle. So, this side equals this side. And that's how you calculate the distance from... Am, are you even seeing this? No, you're not. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's go down. There, there's my wonderful triangle. <laughs> ah, I'm such a putz. Anyway, so if this is your ear height, and that's me sitting there. Oh, wow, I've lost some weight. This is your ear height, so what you do is you measure from your ear height to the ceiling. So mine is 65 inches. I've got almost a 9 foot ceiling down here. Well, this is a 45 degree, so this is going to be 65 inches. Easy! That's how you calculate where you locate your four Atmos speakers to the front and to the rear from where you are. And it doesn't have to be exact. It can be anywhere within this sweet spot of 55 to 30. Now, it gets a little more complicated if you're going to work outside of the, of the 45 degree. Because A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I do remember that from my uh, geometry days. But I found this online. And it was done by a math teacher. Oh, let me zoom out here a little bit. Woo, all right. And I gotta say, 
this guy's pretty talented. He knows his trigonometry. He's also a cartoonist and, well, he knows quite a bit about Atmos. A lot more than I do. So this was kind of neat. Now, I'm not going to explain this. I did terrible in trigonometry. Um, but as you can see, there are some mathematical formulas and a little cheat sheet here for uh, if you have a 56 inch height from your ear to the ceiling, and as you see 45 degrees, 45 is 56 at 56, 135 is also 56 at 56. That's really easy to do. And the XPB over tan, I have no idea what that is. Um, but I'm sure there's other viewers out there who will go down in the notes and explain this to me, but I'm not about to retake or relive my high school years. I really didn't enjoy it, but uh, did not enjoy trigonometry at all. But I found this online. I don't know who it is, but kudos to this ninth grade trigonometry teacher teaching the youths of our life trigonometry and not, uh, oh, what's that? Common Core. Oh, God, Common Core. Stick to the real math. Anyway, this is how you steep do the Atmos placements. Um, I'll leave this up for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds so you can do it. Hit the pause button on your uh, DVR or on your uh, 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 whatever you're watching this on and uh, you can see how the calculations are done if you have a scientific calculator or if you know how to do this stuff with a slide ruler in your head like some engineering guys know how to do. But uh, that's how you do it. Now next you can see a little fast forward of how we install the speakers, drill some holes, and, uh, well, thanks for tuning in.